In this quick video, I'm going to show how to establish relationships and create primary keys. First, I'm looking at the employees table, and here we're going to want to, first of all, declare a primary key for employees. I'm going to set ID as the primary key, so I'm just simply right-clicking on the ID field and choosing set primary key. I'm going to save that, and now I'm going to go up to the customers table, which in this instance is going to be our child table. So in other words, the employees table is going to contribute ID as a primary key to the customers table, where it's going to be known as employee ID. I'm going to go into customers, right click on that, and go into design view. I also have to make sure that I give a primary key to customers, so I'm going to right click on ID and choose set primary key. Now I've already made an emp ID column, so this is going to represent the employee ID, which is found as a primary key in the employees table. So in other words, emp ID in my customers table is going to be a foreign key. The only thing I need to ensure before leaving this screen and going on to the next stage is that the emp ID data type is the same as the related column. In other words, in employees, I've got an ID field that's an int data type, so I've got to make sure that emp ID is the same data type, otherwise they won't be compatible. From here, I can go to Table Designer and choose Relationships. Right now, we can see that I don't have any selected relationships. So I'm going to click Add to create a new one. In the section on the right that appears, called Tables and Columns Specified, I'm going to click on the button that appears. The relationship name isn't really important. What is important is naming the primary key table and the foreign key table. We want to remember that the primary key table is essentially the parent table, so the one that's contributing the primary key, in this case, employees. So I have to select that in the first drop-down box. In the drop-down box directly underneath it, I'm going to select the primary key of this table, which is ID. Finally, we have to create or declare the foreign key table. So I've got customers as my foreign key table. And in this, I'm going to choose what my foreign key column is going to be, which as we saw is emp ID. I'm going to select emp ID, click OK. And choose close. At this point, I'm saving. And I'm now going to generate my database diagram so that we can see the actual relationship as it's going to appear in the diagram. If I right click on database diagram and choose new database diagram and I add both customers and employees, I can see that sure enough there is now a relationship going from employees to customers. What's significant here is that we check the symbols. Outside employees, I've got a primary key symbol, meaning it's contributing its primary key to customers, which has an infinity symbol. In other words, each, each employee can be related to an infinite number of customers. And this could mean anywhere from zero to many. And that's it.